Today is another wonderful day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for joining us on this platform every single day to pray the prayers of our 50 days of fasting and prayer from wherever you're watching within and outside Nigeria. We welcome you specially today and we say God will bless you and answer all your prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is the 29th day of our 50 days of fasting and prayer. And our topic today is manifestations of God's power in signs and wonders in all our programs this year. And our text will be taken from the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17. The Bible says, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Also, the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 to 10, speaking about the gift of the Spirit of God, the gift of working of miracles, the gift of faith, the gift of healing, that this gift will come into manifestation in all our programs, even as we pray and intercede now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The introduction says, Miracle is the act of God in the life of man making the impossible possible. This is one of the gifts God gave to his children for edification of the church. And as we pray, we will see the miraculous manifestation of the hand of God in all areas of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The first prayer point says we should bless the Lord that our souls should bless the Lord, our spirit should magnify him. According to Psalm chapter 103, verse 1, let's sing this song together as we bless our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name. All that is within me, bless the Lord, bless his holy name. Speak to yourself and say, my soul, bless the Lord. My spirit, bless the Lord. My body, bless the Lord. Everything within me, bless the Lord. The Lord is holy, he is worthy to receive our praises, he is worthy to receive our worship, our adoration. We give it all to him. Say, Lord, I bless your holy name and I magnify you in Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. He says, let us thank God for a new day and for the salvation of our souls. Lord, we thank you. Whenever I see another breaking of the day. I say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anytime we see another breaking of the day, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, oh Lord. Thank the Lord for the salvation of your soul. Thank him for keeping you in his love. Thank you for preserving you from falling, from stumbling. Say, Lord, I give thanks to you for the salvation of my soul, for the gift of salvation that I have received. Be exalted, O oh God. I thank the Lord for your life because you are still in the faith. You will not lose your salvation in this world. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. It says, let us bless the name of the Lord. Truly, it has been of the Lord's mercies that we have not been consumed because his compassion never, never, never fails. Let us sing again of the mercy and the compassion of our God. According to Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22, it says, Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Oh, yes. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. Hallelujah. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. As we worship the Lord, the power for signs and wonders will be released upon the church. 
Lord, we worship you, God of miracles, signs, and wonder. The most high God, the most merciful God, the all-powerful God, the one who can do the impossible. Lord, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Let us thank God for all the past annual and other programs in RCCG. Let's bless the Lord and give thanks to him. He says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and for his mercies endure forever. Psalm chapter 127 from verse 1. He says, except the Lord build the house, those who are building are laboring in vain. Except the Lord watches over the city, those who are keeping watch are doing it in vain. Let's say, Lord, we thank you because of your faithfulness to your church. Thank you for all the annual programs of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Every month as we gather during the Holy Ghost service, we hear of great and mighty testimonies of the things you are doing by your miraculous power and your supernatural manifestation in your church. Lord, we thank you because we are faithful to the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We are faithful to your covenant with the church. We give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name, we are grateful. Amen. Please say, Father, we thank you for the success and the glory revealed in the past programs in RCCG. Lord, we thank you for the success by the power of your word. Your word says in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, the book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. Thank you for the power of God's word working in the redeemed Christian church of God, giving us success every year, giving us success every month, making us to succeed in all these programs, making us to impact lives and to make a difference in our community, in our nations. We say thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your glory that is revealed upon the redeemed Christian church of God. Thank you for our Father and the Lord. Thank you for all the ministers and workers. Thank you for all our churches all over the world. Wherever the redeemed Christian church of God is planted, the glory of God breaks out from there. The church grows, the church increases. Lord, we are grateful. We do not take it for granted. From increasing us from a church where two or three are gathered and you increase us every week, every month, we thank you for the growth we experience in the redeemed Christian church of God. Blessed be your holy name. As we give thanks to God for this mission, the glory of God will break forth in your life from time to time. For the Lord says to you, you will arise and you will shine and the glory of God shall be risen upon you. Success in all areas of your life, in all that you do to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, we thank you, Lord, for the anointing released upon Daddy Gio and all other officiating ministers during these programs. Father, we say thank you for your special anointing unusual anointing upon daddy joe that flows during all our programs nationally from special holy ghost service to the convention to the congress to all the holy ghost services to all the let's go fishing across board all over this nation and beyond lord we say thank you for the anointing that flows from the head of our father and the lord to all other ministers like the oil flowing from the head of aaron down to his beard and to his skirt lord we say thank you for this anointing that is real, evident, and potent in the redeemed Christian church of God. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. Please say, Father, we thank you for the unprecedented the number of souls won during the past annual and other programs in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we give thanks to you. We give thanks to God. Oh, hallelujah. We give thanks to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, we give thanks to God, oh, hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised forever, hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised forever, hallelujah. In RCCG, worthy to be praised forever, hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised forever, hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised forever, hallelujah. Let's say, Father, we thank you for all the past miracles, signs, and wonders that you make happen in the redeemed Christian church of God. We bless your holy name for the souls that have been won. Thank you for the lives that you have transformed, for the captives that you have delivered, for the oppressed that you have set free. Thank you for the barren that you have made fruitful. Thank you for the sick that you have healed. Lord, we give you praise and we give you thanks for the harvest of souls in the redeemed Christian church of God through all our national programs. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Please say, Father, we thank you for all the unusual miracles that you have done in the past and which he is going to do again in programs in years to come. Let's say, Father, we thank you for all the miracles, signs, and wonders you've done in the past. And we are confident as we give thanks to you, you will do more for us this year and in the years to come. As we give thanks to God for all that he's been doing in this mission in your own life too, you will see the miraculous power of God, the miracle working hand of God will be made manifest in your life. That situation that is beyond man, that situation that is beyond remedy as far as man is concerned, the miracle of God will happen through it in the name of Jesus. Miracle will happen in your life that will make your joy full turning your situation around. Say, Lord, I receive miracles into my life. The Holy Ghost service for this month is miracles. So miracles everywhere for you. As we thank the Lord for his miracles that we enjoyed in the past in the redeemed Christian Church of God, we will see more of such miracles even from this month and throughout this year in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive us of all our sins that may hinder the move of God in all our annual programs. In the name of Jesus, we pray for mercy. Lord, we cannot ask for mercy enough. Your word says we should come boldly to the throne of grace all the time that we may obtain mercy and find grace for help in time of need. Lord, every time we come before you, it's a time to receive mercy, newness of mercy. For the redeemed Christian church of God, we ask for mercy. In case there is any issue, any problem, any, any sin that may want to debar you from moving in our midst with signs and wonders, let mercy speak, O God. Let there be forgiveness for all our iniquities and shortcomings as a people, as a church. Lord, we pray that nothing will hinder the flow of your power for miracles, signs, and wonders in our midst. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our ministers. We pray for the workers and the members. Anything that may want to debar the move of your presence in our midst. We pray for purging. We pray for cleansing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, we pray for provisions and divine supply of all resources in abundance during all these programs that will take place this year in the name of Jesus. Divine supply and provision for every resource that we need for all the programs that will take place this year. All the Holy Ghost services, all the special Holy Ghost services, and all the convention and congresses, every resource that will be needed. Lord, we receive them. Our God is the one who supplies all all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Therefore, Lord, every resource that is needed financially, materially, in terms of manpower, Lord, we pray you will supply abundantly. The church will never be stranded. We will always have more than enough to execute all the plans of God during all these programs in the name of Jesus. The same way for you as we intercede for all the programs in the redeemed Christian Church of God this year. God will fund all your projects. It will supply all your need it will meet all your needs everything you desire of the lord it will make them available to you sending help from heaven above unto you help us will locate you from time to time anytime you need help as you call upon god it will show up for you in jesus name we pray amen please say father we ask, O oh God, that you deliver every captive of the mighty this year in all our annual programs in the name of Jesus. The captive of the mighty shall be delivered. The prey of the terrible shall be taken. Lord, we pray that even the lawful captive in the redeemed Christian church of God, as they show up, as they come for our programs, Lord, we ask that there will be deliverance for them. There will be liberation for them. There will be freedom for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, everyone under the captivity and the yoke of the devil, Lord, as they attend our annual programs, Lord, we pray for divine manifestation for deliverance in their life. Captivity shall be over in our midst as you set your people free, even in all these programs in the name of Jesus, in all your programs, also in your local parish, area, zone, province, and region. There will be the manifestation of the power of God for the miraculous to take place. Yokes shall be broken, the oppressed shall be delivered, the barren shall be made fruitful, the sick shall be healed, the dumb will speak, the deaf will hear, the blind will see. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the lame will walk in all our programs this year, even in our parishes, 
this lord miracles will begin to happen as we pray in jesus mighty name we pray amen please say father in the name of jesus we declare great turn around for your people and our nations through the declarations made this year in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm chapter 126 from verse 1, when the Lord turned against the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Lord, it's a matter of when, it's not if. So we know there is a time for the great turnaround and we say that this is that time. Let there be a great turnaround for the miraculous to happen in all our parishes. Every word of prophecy, every declaration that had gone ahead of us this year. In that name that is above every other name, they shall become testimonies, they shall become miracles we receive. We've been told by our Father and the Lord that this year is a year of good news for all members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Good news on every side. Projects shall be completed. In the mighty name of Jesus, stars will be released. New stars will emerge. You will be one of us even as we pray. There will be great turnaround in your life, great turnaround in the work of your hand, great turnaround in your ministry, great turnaround in your marriage, great turnaround in your business, great turnaround in your career, in every area you will enjoy great turnaround in Jesus name we pray Amen. Please say Father, during and before and after all programs this year please grant us journey mercies in the name of Jesus, the keeper of Israel who never sleep, who never slumbers we pray Lord our eyes are lifted up to you according to Psalm chapter 121. Lord grant us joining mercies. Lord, grant us preservation and protection all over the world as your children will be traveling for all our programs in the air, on the land, on the waterways, on the rails. Lord, we pray that there shall be joining mercy. We come against the spirit of accident. Every blood-sucking demon that may be deployed on the highways or the byways in the interiors, wherever, they will not have power over any member of the redeemed Christian Church of God as we attend all our programs in your local parish all the way to the national level. We walk in divine protection. We are secured in the name of the Lord. You are also protected in your going out in your coming in, you are preserved, you are protected. No evil shall come near you or any of your loved ones. Throughout this year, you will enjoy divine protection, divine immunity, divine preservation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree against every power, principalities, and blood-sucking demons causing accidents and delay on road before during and after our programs in the mighty name of jesus let us pray in the spirit as we declare war against every power every principalities every blood sucking demon that may want to cause traffic on our highways by attacking other people let's pray in the holy ghost as the power of god would dislodge their stronghold on our highways in the name of jesus Kujia zevedi kana bazute beleketi eleke tadu ni mikati le kadusha daba meleke tunde kizika takuli makatunde ba melende gedozo ebrene kelika pele netu se ikeli makosha pendi kala te de ide iria na koshi mezende ketulia andi katu e razata alinga doshia social aid bay in Jesus name we pray amen please lift your voice and say oh Lord we pray for great miracles sign and wonders, healings, deliverance of souls, testimonies this year in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray for great miracles, great miracles like we have never seen before, like you did in Exodus chapter 15. You parted the Red Sea, you made a way for the children of Israel, you wrought great signs and wonders in the land of Egypt to deliver your people. Lord, this year we command great miracles through the ministry of the redeemed Christian Church of God all over the world, across all levels. In the name of Jesus, great miracles, signs and wonders, healings, harvest of souls, deliverances, testimonies, miracles taking place in all our programs. Lord, through the old and the young, Lord, through males and females, through ministers and workers and members, Lord, let great miracles be the order of the day in the redeemed Christian Church of God throughout this year in the name of Jesus. In your own life also, every day will bring you 
miracles. We bring you testimonies. Every day you have something to shout about, to rejoice about, to witness about of the faithfulness of the miraculous working power of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. It is so. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It shall be permanent. Oh yes. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for us, for you, it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. What the Lord has done shall be permanent. Miracles everywhere, testimonies everywhere. We will see the manifestation of the spirit of miracles, the gift of miracles, healing, signs, and wonders, even in our lives, in our churches. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you real good. Thank you for joining us to pray these prayers again today. Please remember as always to like the video, share with friends and family so they can join us to pray and subscribe if you are yet to do so to this channel and turn on the notification bell to get the videos when we drop them. God bless you and have a great day. Amen.